everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new to my channel welcome this video is going to be about some products that really didn't work for me in 2016 and they maybe worked for you and you love them but they these products were just not good for my skin or for my yeah I didn't I just didn't like them so I want to share you my experience and tell you a little bit why uh, why I didn't like these products so if you hear something here in background it's my son he's three years old and he's playing around uh, yeah that's it only him but let's start uh, first I want to start with a foundation it's this max factor face Finity all day flawless three-in-one foundation if you can see the bottle is very dirty because I really tried this foundation many times but I just didn't like it well this foundation supposed to be three-in-one it's a primer concealer and foundation in one now I did try this foundation with a couple of different products I tried, I tried it with different primers I tried it with different concealers tried it with different powders tried it without concealer and a a primer but it just didn't work it looked patchy uh, it moved around it was khaki on my nose uh, it sat into my fine lines it just worked terrible and it was really you can see water watery I, I didn't like it I really didn't like this foundation now this color was a little bit too light for me uh, but if you can see it just moves around and it leaves really n uneven base and I didn't like it I don't know if you can see it in camera but it just wasn't really something that worked for me now maybe this works for you if you have really dry skin or something I don't know but this foundation was like well, big minus I didn't like it and I will definitely not, not buy this again now another product that I didn't like is this NYX HD high definition eyeshadow base now this eyeshadow base was was really creamy you can hear my son in the background Thing. it was really creamy but just it's kind of oily I feel I feel it like it's a little bit oily it is too oily for my oily eyelids my eyeshadow didn't stay long at all it was a big disaster really it was a big now I tried it like two three times and it didn't really work and I was not happy well the other thing that I didn't like let's see it's another primer eye prime in line seller uh, seller from elf now this is two in one it, this is for eyeliner to set your eyeliner and this side is a primer eyeshadow primer now this eyeshadow primer see if I can it's too heavy it's too heavy it doesn't blend very well it looks khaki and it didn't make my eyeshadow stay longer at all it was a big disaster for me really it moved around my eyeshadow I had hard time to blend my eyeshadows I tried to set this with a powder I thought maybe that would be easier way to just to blend them over my eyeshadows but it really didn't work so I didn't like this primer this uh, liner sealer oh my god I tried to set my eyeliner with this put, first put this and then I put eyeliner over and it, I got this in my eye and my eyes were watering I didn't like it and it, this packaging is kind of too thick it feels too heavy the other product that I didn't like is this makeup remover from essential essential I think it's called comes in this packaging and I thought this would be great to, to just clean my eyeliner or when I get some a mascara under my eye but this gets dirty really fast and when you try it when I removed my mascara eyeliner I think it was my eyeliner just it got dirty really really fast and it just leaves look 
I didn't like it. I really, it didn't clean up my makeup and it got dirty and just smudged everything and this, this one is big no. Of course you can remove this one and change it, but, I, but you have to change it every time you clean something once. If you clean it once then you have to change it because it gets dirty and leaves this. So no. The other thing I didn't like is I got this in my glossy box. This is uh, Me 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 Coral Blossom. It's cheek and lip uh, tint, a tint. My lips, I didn't see that my li lipstick is gone. Oh my God. This looks terrible. I'm sorry guys, I have to fix this. So, I was trying out a new lipstick. So this is like a blush, or you can put it on your lips. And it, this brush is really disgusting. It looks like a big disaster. Look at it. And the color is pretty. It is. But I just, look, when you put it on, and when you blend it, it blends into nothing. It really blends into nothing. It says apply two to three strokes to cheeks or lips for a beautiful and coral coral blush. Well, if you have to put that much of, the, of a product just to get a color, well, I didn't like it. I'm sorry. It just didn't. It, it, and it feels heavy. It feels heavy. I didn't like it. The other thing I didn't like is a palette with blushes from MAC, it's this three color blusher. Number two, you can see it's old, I had it for a while and MAC name is almost gone. You get these three beautiful colors uh, and here under it's kind of hard to open but under you can get you get a little mirror and a little bit a little brush. I hate this brush, really I don't know what the point with this brush is but Never used it. I tried now. I liked. I tried it once. Didn't like it. I left it here. This mirror is just yeah. It's cute. Can use it now. I tried this many times. I do love Mac products, and this is a very. I think I had it for oh my god. I think almost two years now. Do you see pigment look very great, and you when you do swatches it looks okay. But but look doesn't look good. Can you see? Can you see the product really here? It's really not good product. It's dry, it's patchy and it blends into nothing guys. It really blends into nothing. When I took my brush and tried to blend this into my face, it blended into nothing. And just didn't work. I don't know why I kept it in my hey, drawer for that mama. long. Hi baby. I don't know why I kept this in my drawer for this long, but yeah, did it work. The other thing that I didn't like is this sheer cover palette. Face palette, sophisticated it's called. Looks like this, it comes with a mirror. This is a blush, it comes with four eyeshadows. And this is uh, highlighters. This is really no pigmentation in these colors. It looks good on my fingers, but swatches, I'm really disappointed. It blends into nothing. Black one too is, this black one is really hard to blend. You can see the lines, you can see, uh, it's really terrible palette. I really didn't like this. I tried it and I don't know, it comes with two brushes. This is two lip gloss. I'm sorry, this is two lip gloss, not highlighters. It's lip gloss. Well, there goes brushes. And I didn't like them. And the last product I want to show you is going to be a shock, maybe, for you, some of you. And please, guys, don't hate me for not liking this product. It's just maybe my skin. It really didn't work for me. I'm really glad if you like it and it, if it works for you. But for me, it didn't work. Urban Decay. 
It's Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. Why? It moves around on my face. There are some parts on my, when I try to blend it in, it just moves around, leave it uneven. This is supposed to be like my color, but it's really too light. It's full coverage, it's beautiful, but it moves around on my face and it doesn't stay long. It doesn't stay all day. When I go to work, and when, when I come back from work, it's gone on my nose, it's gone on my part of, on my cheeks, it looks patchy, uh, it really is not a good foundation. Now I try to apply it with a brush, I try to apply it with my beauty blender, I try to apply it with different primers, I still have it, I still don't want to throw it away because so many of you like, like this product and so many of you uh, this is like the best foundation but for me well it was a big dip disappointment it just looked patchy it looked it was moving around i had a hard time to blend my blush i had a hard time to blend my contour and it looks uneven it looked really uneven and i'm sorry please don't hate me i'm really happy if this works for you but did it work for me I forgot this one. The last product that didn't work for me is this Max Factor Smoky Eye Effect eyeshadow. You get a black eyeshadow. It's really pigmented. It's really cute. It's really pigmented. And then you get this one. And it looks nice, but it's oily and did it work for my oily eyelids. If you have oily eyelids, I don't think this will work for you. So. That was all products in this video that I wanted to share with you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!